What's up everyone, welcome, my name is Empty Major and today we are checking out the Crate MK2, that's what we're checking out. It's a new ship in Elite Dangerous, a uh, brand new ship, it's just come out a couple of uh, seconds ago actually. And uh, <laughs> this is the uh, Crate MK2, a medium sized uh, ship launched, w with a ship launched fighter bay, three crewed, well medium ship, kind of uh, with the same firepower as the python and just a very awesome looking ship now we are uh, in this video we're gonna check if uh, you should buy it uh, what the good parts about it are what the bad parts about it are we're gonna fly it we're gonna listen to it we're gonna look at all the hard points look at all the internals it's gonna be an awesome video and i hope you guys enjoy it this is the crate and uh, yeah let's let's get into this all right, so first of all, we have the cockpit, which is situated in the middle of the actual cockpit bay area, cockpit part of the ship. Uh, <laughs> so here we have it. Uh, we have uh, one seat there, one seat there, one seat there. So three people can go in this medium ship, which as far as I'm concerned, this is the only medium ship that has three uh, seats in it, which is pretty cool. Uh, as you can see, the front of the ship uh, has two medium hard points um, one right there below the left side of the ship and one right there and it has its large ones uh, in the middle and two on the offset of the left and right now the cool thing is with these medium hard points you can actually see them uh, unfold on the left and right side it kind of blocks your vision though that's one thing but it doesn't really matter because it's so awesome and you have plenty of vision anyway and uh, I mean it's a cool, cool idea that the cockpit is situated below deck instead of on the top for you know differences not a lot of ships have that I think this is actually the only ship that has that except for maybe the type 9 type 10 ish they, or type type 7 has it kind of too but we're digressing so let's take a look at the internals this ship costs 40 million credits which is so low and I'll explain to you guys why I think that's low uh, it has later Right, it has three large, it has two mediums. Uh, the utility, it has four utility mounts, uh, which uh, two on the sides of the thrusters, so on the back, which is which are really good places for point defense, I feel, and on the bottom side, it has two as well. Core internals are uh, seven power plants, six thrusters, five frame shift drive, four life support, seven power distributors, six sensors, and five uh, fuel tank, which in this is insane. A 7 power plant and a 7 power distributor. That's pretty, pretty fucking good. Uh, the optional internals are a 6. Uh, you have 1 6 here, 1 6 here, a 5 a 5, a 4 a 3, a 3 a 2, and a 1 for planetary approach suite. Now, the thing is here is that um, the Python has 3 6s, as uh, this ship has 2 6s. So that's uh, where the Python kind of excels in with the optional internals. But it doesn't really matter that much. Because let's be honest, uh, the Python doesn't have a fighter bay, so this ship actually has a fighter bay, which is pretty fucking amazing. Now let's completely outfit the ship, and I'll go. With, um, I'll explain to you guys the outfitting that I did on it, and we can kind of look at the uh, numbers here, um, as you can see. Here we go. I have 2.7 million left. <laughs> so uh, yeah. <laughs> That's kind of the last thing that I did on it. I completely A graded it. Uh, I put everything on A. So there's no like specific build that I did. It's just all on A. Uh, we have integrity of 1.8 uh, thousand. We have um, 271 top speed and 372 uh, boost speed. We have a total mass. Uh, I mean, that's pretty good. We have a jump range that is not that good. But, you know, if you were to totally like skim this ship down you can get an insane jump speed I feel uh, I'm not keeping it completely a rated because this might become my main uh, as it is so awesome but you know I, I won't keep it a rated because of the low jump range that I get with it but uh, yes um, and it costs at 8 million of return cost now the weapons I put a three um, large burst lasers and two multi cannons. Basic weapons, just because I just wanted to do some basic checks with it. Now the reason why uh, why I think I love this loadout is because this one, so the first one, if you put a turret on it, 
uh, and some were to be in the gunner seat, you would have a mini Millennium Falcon because this third can can look all around just like on a Millennium Falcon, and it's just it's just so cool. It's just such an awesome thing. So put a multi cannon third on that thing, and it's it's epic. Um, I put a uh, point defense chef launcher, shield booster, and heatsink launcher for the um, shield sub banks. The internals is a military Greek posit, 7A, 6A, 5A, 4A, 7A, 6A, blah blah blah, whatever. And then we have a optional internal of a 6A shield generator, 6D fighter hangar with a Condor and a Taipan AX anti Xeno. We have a 5D hull reinforcement, 5D hull reinforcement, 4A shield cell bank just in case, a 3D hull reinforcement, a module reinforcement package, a 2G planetary vehicle hangar. So this is very, very, very cool. We have a 2. Uh, slot optional internal which is perfect for the vehicle hangar I love that that they did it uh, so yeah here we have the ship um, I'm going to change it a little bit but this is what I kinda will be if you completely agree to everything now what I will do is I won't change anything of the optional that's fine but what I am going to do though I'm going to take the uh, sensors and turn this into a D not only will I get some more money out of it but I don't need crazy sensors that's just maybe me but the power distributor that's really good the life support is also going to be AD because honestly I need it we get some money back we get some uh, higher jump range the um, frame shift drive is good the thrusters uh, are fine we, we could in theory put these on a D uh, but I don't think that that's gonna be such a big deal I mean it's gonna completely tear us down uh, not that much to be honest not that insane I mean it's still very very doable so some people some people, I mean you might not you might hate me right now but I'm doing this anyway um, I'm putting the 60 trusses on it maybe I'll change that later but now I'm just putting the 60 trusses so let's um, move this ship up um, and fight with it. Let's see how it works. Now let's not forget to put a crew in our ship. And uh whoa, crew slot. August Mitchell set August Mitchell active. This is by the way the ugliest crew member I've ever had in my life. Now let's go guys, let's go. Alright, so um don't forget, uh you know, first time I'm playing with this thing too, so uh, we'll have to check about that, but I'll let you guys hear the amazing engine sounds it makes. It's crazy. Isn't that the coolest thing ever? I can't, I can't help myself. Honestly, the way this ship flies the way it feels, the way you see the guns, the way the boost sound makes, it reminds me of such a awesome smuggling ship, like like a ship that's that's so in such a such a great place. It, it reminds me of Millennium Falcon so much. And to be honest, it's not my favorite Star Wars ship at all. But it's like you have you really have this um, this weird feeling with it. This like this kind of bootleg feeling with it. And I kind of get this with the ship. It's like you know, you see all the wires, it's like everything's kind of loose, it's like, you know, here, like, we got some tape, what looks like tape, to keep the wires intact right there, and I don't know if you guys can see that, but it is definitely there, you know, we have, like, a ship that's, like, kind of feels like it's, it's budget, and the engine feels like it's been, like, turbo overdrive, I don't know, like, something weird shit, weird shit has happened with it, it just sounds so cool, you know, this ship really does remind me of, 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 uh, yeah, of, of a Millennium Falcon type of ship, an old type of ship. I mean, look at this thing. It's awesome. Now, I, I activated the lights so you guys can see the lights. These are the lights right there. 
So that's how the lights look like on the front, and it just looks so cool. Look at it. Wow. You know, people might think that it kind of looks like an oversized viper or, or a deformed uh, cobra or whatever, but, you know, I think this design is so unique in the Elite Dangerous Universe, especially with the giant engines and then with the weird things on the sides and then look, look, at, the, look at the cockpit situated underneath. It's just epic. All right, yeah, guys, we got a distress call, so... Oh! <laughs> wow. Oh, another hostile. Oh, my. What's going on? All right, all right. Now we have, now we might have a problem, and I might have to leave. That's, I'm trying to talk as well, but it's very hard because I'm really concentrating right now. You guys should probably understand. That's one target. We get three Vipers attacking us, actually. That's our last shield so bank. Ah, oh, the shields are online, fuck. Should probably put some in systems, but... I just really don't feel like that because... Alright, we're taking some damage, but we have pretty decent armor. Uh, these guys are not strong at all, so even though it looks like I'm kind of making a mess out of it, it's it's actually kind of fine. Uh, we just need to to really play with our pips. Now the shields are back online. Uh, we should... We, no, we don't have any shield, banks left, shield, uh, shield cell banks left, so that's a problem maybe. Let's play with the pips a lot now, because the shields are going to go offline anyways. Which su fucking sucks, I know, but whatever, right? All right, we need to kill one of these guys because it's an issue right now. They are dealing too much damage to me. And once the shields are off, we should be taking him down pretty fast. And that's one guy. Okay. Now I have two guys left. Okay, like this thing turns insane. You know, I'm kind of when I when when the pips are all in engines and I'm using flight assist off, I'm out turning fucking vipers, right? That's basically what's happening. Even though these are cop or, or like uh, NPC fi uh, vipers, it doesn't really matter. I'm out turning them, so that's pretty cool. The Taipan is kind of dealing with that one viper over there, so we're basically doing a one v one right now. Which is fine by me. And right now we're all in the fray. We're in the middle fray. Alright, it's going fine. Oh, the sounds of this fucking thing, it's so cool. They're annoying though. They are annoying, right? But, it's fine. Can't wait to engineer this thing, holy shit, it's already so good without engineering. I can't wait to, to get my hands on some of the engineering for this thing, it's insane. There we go. Shafts are not gonna help me now, buddy. Alright, we got one guy left. Which is this Carlos dude. Which 
all the way over there. Oh, yes. The Taipan fighter is doing some damage, but I'm going to call him back. And this guy is mine. Uh, annoying. There we go. The placement is so good too, because honestly, you could you. I think it's it's a viable idea to to rock. Uh, basically to rock like full real guns on this thing because honestly the the harper placement does allow it i mean i don't know if the power plant allows it i feel like it will because the power plant and the power distributor are really good but i don't know if it will actually allow it but the hard points definitely do allow it uh, especially for bigger targets that should be no problem and that's just fucking cool that that's a thing right you, you could you could play with uh with all these, with, with full rail guns, if you want to. I'm actually thinking of maybe changing the machine guns into two rail guns and changing one of the burst lays into multi cannons. That should be fun too. You can do a lot of things with this thing, you know. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's still a review, don't worry about it. This fight just takes a little longer than I suspected it would be. But it does give a really good view of what this thing can do in good hands. And it's just a really good one. There we go. So we got them all. So yeah, decorate the medium ship fighter carrying beast. Right, that's what it is. Three medium, three large, two mediums. Exceptionally good. Now there's one thing that kind of that I think is weird with the crate. You know, and it's and it's not necessarily about the crate itself. It's about the pricing. Now, this thing. Is without a doubt better than the Python and Python fanboys coming in. It is. You have to acknowledge that fact. It is better than Python. It has the same weapons. It has slightly uh, oh more. Um, I don't even want to know what's happening right now. I'm still doing my video. All of a sudden, the Python. <laughs> Oh, fuck. Okay. That's not a good idea. Whoa. That's a very bad idea, actually. So, like I said, uh, the uh, Python is less good than this thing. I think this thing, for 1v1 versus a Python, it also depends on the ship itself, obviously, and the upgrades and whatever. But if, if everything is perfectly the same... Uh, you know the upgrades and everything is just exactly the way it's supposed to be um, and you know you're fighting against a python uh, you know you have the same weaponry you have slightly less armor slightly less shields but it wouldn't really matter because you have engineered your ship anyway so you know the shields will vary anyway um, and you have your ship launch fighter with you it's just such a giant advantage and the python is 58 million credits this thing is 40 you know, it's 18 million credits. If I'm gonna double check that, because I can say that, but I'm pretty sure it's 58 million credits for the Python, and this thing is 40, so that should be 18 million. But I'm I'm gonna check it while I'm talking. Um, anyway, so this thing is definitely less good than a Python, except when it comes to um, maybe hull tanking or um, uh, oh uh, okay, 57 million credits. So this thing is 16 or 17 million credits less expensive um, so this thing is, is way easier to get and it's you know it's, it's insane how how much better this thing is you know the the turn rate is better the, the speed is better the jump range is way better if you upgrade it because it can, it can go to 40 i've seen right 40 you know this thing is a viable explorer and python is not even close to that you know and it's it's the only thing that python does better is hull tanking i i guess and um uh, what, what, what was it? Like cargoing, or like passenger hauling. But I mean, that's the only thing I can think of. That Python is better. Uh, Combat-wise, it's not that much of a difference. I feel like Python can be extremely good too because it is heavier. It is a little bit bigger. It does have, you know, a little bit 
more health and stuff like that. But it's just like, who cares? You have a fighter, right? I, I pick a fighter with a little bit more health any any day, right? And and it has three people in it. Like if you fill this thing with three people, I th the Python only has two. And again, I'm gonna double check that because I I'm not completely sure. But I feel like yeah, no. Uh, let, let me check this double. So the Python should only have two people as a crew. Um, and yeah, and yeah, I mean, you know, that's that's the way it is. You know, and you're gonna fight, and then with all my two, with my two extra crew members, I get more pips, and they can go in a fighter. And it's just like this thing. I I can't see any situation where the Python will definitely win in a fight, um, except if this ship isn't upgraded and the Python is. But other than that, I don't see any reason why you should get the Python, other than appearance. Because I do believe that some people might think the Python is better looking. Uh, I personally don't think that, but you know, tastes differ. Um, other ways, like I'm trying to think of what uh, maybe it has more visibility. You know, I'm, I'm trying to think of, of, of you know things that could make the Python better. I don't think the Python is better at all uh, because of the facts that I just mentioned. But other than that. Uh, yeah, this 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 was the crate. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was an extremely long one, but I, I, I mean, there's so much to talk about with this thing. It's 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 insanely cool. It's beautiful. It's it's unique. Uh, it's it's a great addition to the game, and I hope that uh, that you know that a lot of people will uh, you know agree with me on this. That it's just such a good chip. It's a really good chip. I'm 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 seriously uh, just blown away by how good it is, and. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Cheers.